Hey guys, today I'm looking at a new way to transfer old data from floppy disks over to your new computer that does, may not have a uh, floppy disk drive. Now a lot of you know what these are, 3.5 inch floppy disks hold 1.44 megabytes. Pretty standard and it's pretty easy to transfer these over to your new computer. You just get a USB floppy drive, pretty simple connector here if you can see it. Yeah, USB. Mine's pretty beat to hell but it still works out. So. But, a lot of you, or some of you, may actually have five and a quarter inch disks. Very old software, usually mid 80s, early 80s. And you can just see, I mean, they're actually floppy, that's what gives them the name. These ones are bright green, I like them for that reason. And there really hasn't been a reliable way of transferring data from these disks over to new computers, other than owning a computer like this one. So, up until recently, Using one of these five and a quarter inch floppy drives to transfer your data to another floppy disk on an older PC has been basically the only way to transfer data off these disks. However, my friend William sent me a link to a new project from Device Side Data, and it's really quite interesting. This little card right here is a five and a quarter inch floppy controller card, and as you can see in this connector right here, it's a little blurry, but that is a USB port, and using a USB cable, you can hook this up to your new computer. It, it only reads data off the disks, but that allows you to copy it onto your computer. And it not only works with the uh, IBM PC style floppy disks, but also uh, Apple, Amiga, and a whole bunch of other ones. So for a little over fifty dollars you get this controller card that allows you to hook up your uh, five and a quarter inch drive to the USB port. However, there's also some extras you can buy on the website, so for about forty bucks more you can get an external metal case for it along with a power supply and some ribbon cable and screws and everything to hook it all together. It ends up looking pretty professional once you put it all together. So let me do that and then I will get back to you. So here's the finished product after you finish assembling it all. It's got a nice little sticker with the logo on it, device side data. The drive fits in there. I installed the front cover a little incorrectly, but that's alright, it'll still work. And on the back you have your ports got little rubber feet on the bottom so it's kind of difficult to turn around and that's about it power supply line comes out and it's in a standard 110 volt plug so let's go ahead and try it out all right now that we've finished assembling the drive let's go ahead and install the drivers for this comes on the CD on the Windows setup now this setup does require a 32-bit architecture if you have a 64-bit PC like I have, you will either have to use a virtual machine like I am, or find a different PC to do this on. Installs pretty quickly. Finish it up. Now we can hook up the drive. For me, that's unplugging and replugging. Now it should detect the drive. I guess it's already set up. Now you can't access the drive from Windows Explorer. It comes with its own program. Go ahead and run it. Alright. Now here's the basic interface. Select the controller. And there's one of them. And you also have to select the type of disk that you're trying to read from. So let's try and read off the uh, Windows 1.03 disks. Now these are MS-DOS 360K disks. We'll call it disk 1. And let's change it. Oh, that's fine. Now it starts reading the disk. Seems to be progressing pretty rapidly. Alright, and the disk finishes. You get this nice little success yay button press it and then you can rip another disk or you can exit the program. Now excuse me while I go ahead and get the rest of these out of the way. A few minutes later here and we're just finishing up uh, ripping disk 6 and all of its files and I'll see you back in a little bit and we'll try to install Windows 1.03 from these images that I just made. 
Alright, let's go ahead and try to install Windows 1.03 from these images we got. As you can see, we have all the files here. Setup. Setup to drive C. Windows is fine. Continue. United States. Microsoft Mouse. Build disk. I guess that's disk too. Continue. Utilities disk. Disk 3. No. No printer for you. The font disk. The ever so valuable font disk. Desktop applications disk. Featuring exclusive programs like Notepad. Continue. Microsoft Write program. The precursor to Microsoft Word. Alright, it seems to have set up. Let's see if it runs. Alright, it works. It's really squished in here, but it works. So, as you can see, this uh, device side data hardware really works. It allows you to read off all, all of your disks and works really well. We were able to install Windows off disks from I guess 1986 or 87 so it's pretty impressive. If you have a lot of these 5.25 inch disks lying around I suggest you grab one of these. It's definitely a useful thing to have and I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Thanks for watching.